Hello everyone, it's the last week in February and the prompt for week four of each month is to create a page um, in your journal, whichever type of journal you happen to be um, working on. Of course, I've got um, another usual scraps journal, so that's what I'm going to be doing today. And for anybody that wants to know how I made my cover and how I bound my elastic signatures, I'll leave the link to the video um, tutorial in the description box below. Now, I've decided that um, I want to do something with this beautiful polka dot page here today so I'm just going to pull this out and um, the elastic signature just makes it really easy to pull signatures out for you to work on them so let me just pop this to one side now, of course, last week for the Let's Get Arty prompt, I created this um, gouache sunflower and I didn't realise at the time that the sunflower is the national flower of the Ukraine. And I just want to say that my heart just goes out to everybody in the Ukraine that is just suffering this dreadful war that um, has just started. It's just absolutely heartbreaking. So I just want to dedicate this page to all of the people um, in the Ukraine. Now, this was created on mixed media paper I'll leave the link to the video showing how I made this in the description box below now I'd quite like to mount this, I think, on a piece of um, this inky blue paper. This is just um, an old discarded envelope. So I'm thinking that that might work quite quite well. I'm wondering whether I should um, perhaps cut some of the white down um, as well. I might have a play around with this. And I would also um, like to add some stitching as well. So let me take this off to my sewing machine. And as soon as I've done that, I'll be straight back. That's been off to the sewing machine. I just love how much stitching um, adds. Really simple, but um, but I like that. And I'm just going to glue this down onto the background. Um, I am just going to use some um, of the art glitter glue for that. Hang on, we've got um, some glue around the rim here. Let me just um, peel peel that off. Just a small amount. You don't need much. And then I'm just going to stick this down here. Let me stand up just to make sure that um, I'm in the right place. That should do it. Wipe off um, any glue that um, I've managed to smear around the um, outside. I love that polka dot background. I think it um, just adds a quirkiness. I like how that looks. I want to keep this page really simple, but I have printed off some hashtags. Hashtag no war, please. Hashtag support for Ukraine and hashtag my prayers are with you. I've just printed this out onto um, a regular piece of cardstock. What I will do is just chop, chop this off and I'm just going to glue it down to a piece of cardstock just to stabilise it um, a little. So I've got some scratch cardstock here. I'm just going to stick this down just using a regular glue stick. There we are. Now I know some of you are wondering why I didn't put um, a piece of cardstock through the printer. For one, copy of paper is cheaper. And secondly, my printer doesn't really like cardstock and um, it has a tendency to get jammed. So I just find this method um, easier. So I'm just going to cut this down and I'm just going to take this off to the paper trimmer and um, trim my hashtags out. So here we are. I've got my three quotes, support for Ukraine, my prayers are with you and no war, please. And I'm just going to really simply just glue these down. I know that the no war, please is is too late now, but we can live in hope, can't we? That, um, that you know, this will be short lived and come to a quick end, although it doesn't look like it, does it? But we, as I say, we can just live in live in hope. So how do I want this to go? support for Ukraine we can have that there my prayers are with you and I'm just going to play around with these with these hashtags so there we are that's back um, in the journal a really poignant page now I want to do something with the right hand side as well I've got a piece of William Morris paper left over and what I would like to do is just where have I put it? Grab a pencil and just make a mark here. Take it over to the other side as well. And where's the text here? And I'm just going to cut this um, at, oh, I'm not doing this very well, at a diagonal like, like that. 
let's take this out of the journal because I think it will be easier again for me to work on it. And what I'm hoping is that I've cut this right so that um, it will cover up this area of text here. I'm a little bit on the short side, so what I might need to do is just um, take a slither off the, t off the top, but, um, but that's not too bad. That's okay. Um, I like how that looks, and I think the colours match really well too. So let's just add a small amount of glue just around the edge here and stick this down. I have actually drawn myself some pencil lines as well because um, I don't need to go too far. We have got um, a little bit of an overhang. So let's add glue here like this and stick stick this on. How did I want that to go? It was about there, wasn't it? And as I've said, I'm just going to take a slither um, off the off the top so I can just cut this um, with my scissors let me just remove the glue so that um, my scissors don't get all gunky I've lost them here we are buried underneath a mound of um, papers as usual so let's just cut that off, that off and I'm just going to take this off to the paper trimmer now I found a couple of images that I thought would um, suit the opposite page and the you know the subject the the story I've got this flower here which I really like color wise it just goes really well I also found this girl as well who looks really lonely sat there on the floor um, 24 is the day that the conflict um, started and so I am just going to pop this down here like this. I do think that I'd like to mount both of these pieces um, on a background as well and again I'm just going to sew around the edges so as soon as I've done that I'll be straight back. Now the words on this are just a bit too bright and bold. It says people, um, sky and sun, daytime, nighttime, mother and father, family, men and women, in the streets, flashes, specks. These became part of that child who, um, oh, it just speaks to me, it really does. Now it's too bold so I just want to use some gesso just to tone it down a bit, um, just to make my focal images stand out just that little bit more. So I'm just going to dry brush um, some of this on. I don't want it to go over that beautiful um, paper there. So let me just um, be really careful um, about that. And as I say, my purpose here is just to tone it down just ever so slightly, just so that it's not so in your face. That looks much better. Um, I might need to add um, another coat as well. We'll see. Um, I'll let this dry first. Just so dries incredibly quickly but doesn't that look um doesn't that look better that looks a lot better now that it's had some gesso added to it and I do want to add some washi tape as well just to um, blend these two pieces together I think that will look really nice um, I'm just going to add a tiny amount of glue otherwise there's just no way in a billion years that it's going to stay stay put so I'll just add a tiny amount of glue stick here and that will that will do the job. Let me just uh, pull pull that through. And then let's add um, our images. And I've got a quote that I want to add as well. Which way up do I want this to go? Does it really matter? I don't think it does. We'll just have that there like, like that. These are what my focal images look like now that um, the background has been toned down. So they stand out a whole lot more, don't they? Um, perfect. I really like how those look. So I'm just going to glue those down. And finally, I'm just going to finish my page off with this quote here. Ausik nergens bang vor vos, vod zau ik dan doen. And if I've got my translation correct, it means if I wasn't afraid of anything, what would I do? Um, it's a Dutch quote and I just think it's just really appropriate. So I'm just going to add that to my page. I do want to cut it down though. I've popped this page back in the journal now and I just think that the yellow quote goes really well with the sunflower. So, als ich nergens bang vor vos, wat so ich dann tun? So, if I wasn't afraid of anything, what would I do? And to me, um, I translate that as, you know, I am so consumed with fear, I can't think straight. And I'm sure that a lot of Ukrainians are feeling that way right now. I've decided to leave the video here for today. I don't know, it just doesn't feel right to do 
anything else. There were a couple of other pages that um, I had planned, but I'll be back with a midweek mini perhaps next week. Um, but, you know, I just want to say my thoughts and prayers are with everybody in the Ukraine right now. What a horrible, horrible situation. Um, it just brings me to tears. It really does. So just to recap, the challenge for this week is to create a page or pages in your journal, whichever type of journal you happen to be working in. Don't forget to go and check out Kylie's video as well this week to see what she has created. But, you know, if you can appreciate this page and it makes sense to you, I hope you'll give me um, a thumbs up. Do let me know what you think in the comments below. But most importantly, thanks for watching. Take care, everyone, and I'll see you all again soon. Bye for now.